Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and today we're going to make a real simple diamond fold card. I know probably some of you have made these, they've been around for a long, long time. But we're going to show you our twist on it. So you're going to need a piece of paper that is 4 by 12. Now I'm going to use this scrap piece of paper that I had in my stash, just because I love butterflies and teal but you can use cardstock and then overlay it with some mats if you want to it doesn't matter so you're going to put it on the 12 inch side and you're going to score at 2 and at 10 okay then we're through with the scoreboard for a little while now we're just going to fold these and burnish Alright, now you want to mark the center of your paper, and I'm just going to flip it over and mark on this side. So, just make a tiny little mark on the top and the bottom at six inches. And then I take my ruler, this is the easiest way I've found to do it. And I put on those marks, and then I just take this and fold it over while I'm holding that ruler there. And that gives me my start of my diamond fold, just like that. And then you're going to open that back up and put your ruler on the other side of the marks, and then do the same thing on this side. And then you're going to flip it around, put your ruler on those marks again, pull it over, just make sure that it lines up to the edge of your ruler. And then on the other side, do that same thing down through there. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is your diamond fold. So we're going to flip it back over to this side. And now this is a very, very thick paper. I may not, I may have not needed to use this because this is not going to cooperate with me too much. But you're going to press in on those edges there. See what I'm talking about, how thick it is? There we go. It's going now. And just make sure that you get your sides even before you fold everything down. And then just fold it and burnish it. And then go to the other end and do the same thing. So you're just going to kind of press in on those. And then just make sure that the edges come together. Just like that. And then just burnish it. Okay. So you see what we got there? Let's see if you can see that. So there's our diamond right there in the middle. And now all it's just a matter of pulling it together. So all I did was just pulled up, see these ends right here, I just pulled up on that, pushed them together, and there is our diamond in the middle, right there. Then I'm going to go ahead and give it another good burnish. All the way around, on all of my layers, this is just going to help it lay down easier, and a little bit flatter. Just like that. Now I have this little doily that I'm going to split right down the center. I'm going to put on there. We're going to dress it up just a little bit. So let's see. I think the easiest way is going to be for me just to fold it like this and make a little mark on both ends and then cut. There we go. 
So we're going to put half of that on that side and half on that side. And just kind of tuck it up under there. Just like that. See how much more that dresses that up. And then we're going to cut us a piece to go right here on the top. And this piece needs to be cut at two and three quarters by two and three quarters. So I think this piece is going to match up. Another piece out of my scraps. <clears throat> so we're going to put that piece right there. Those will be tucked up under there. We're going to go ahead and glue these down. Just like that. Then we can put this piece on the top. And again, this piece is cut at two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And I think I'm going to put, I don't know which one. I think I'll put this side up. And now we got this in our, I think this came in our April kit, maybe. I think this came in the kit that we just did. These are acrylic words and shapes, and it just happens to have a diamond right there and then love right there. So I'm just going to put that diamond on here. And then take this love up and we're just going to put it across the center right there. Now if you wanted to keep this card flat, you could put a ribbon around it, a belly band, something like that. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to stick it down in the envelope just like it is. And then when they pull it out, it'll kind of pop up just a little bit like that. So that is the card. Very simple and easy. If you want to put, want to put a sentiment on it, you could open it up and put one back here, a little hidden place. Or you could put your sentiment right here on the front or on the sides, either one that you wanted to. But that's just a quick easy simple little card and i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give us a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and we would appreciate if you would share our videos that just helps us build up in the community a little bit and we will talk to you guys later bye bye